Hello and welcome to my talk about SOLID. Um, my name is Michiel de Jong. I started the Unhosted project uh, 10 years ago and uh, the idea of that project was to separate applications from user data and uh, there's another project which started five years later but had been invented uh, before unhosted already by Sir Tim Berners-Lee, inventor of the web as well, and it's called Solid Social Linked Data. Um, and the idea is um, to build a web of identity uh, storage and applications so that um, people can host their user data in a web where everybody has control of their own data. Very similar to the mission of Nextcloud as well, um, we want to give people control over their data. So one of the things that um, we immediately thought was, uh, well, if Solid exists and Nextcloud exists, then let's connect them together. So that's what we started out doing. So with uh, Auke, Ben and Ivo, we uh, got some funding from um, NLNet to start a PDS interop personal data store interoperability project. So um, to make personal data stores interoperable with each other. It's funded by AnalNet, just like lots of the unhosted project that I worked on uh, was funded by AnalNet. And if you have a nice open source project to improve the internet, then you should go talk to them. Um, the goal here, ultimate goal, is user data usability. I want my user data not just to be under my control um, or where I want it, but I also want it um, accessible in a way that I can use it. So I want to do stuff with my data. Otherwise, the value of my data comes to me from being able to use it with applications or software or services. So I want it to be discoverable. If I don't know, if I can't find my data, then uh, it's useless to me. So I want to be able to get to it with some sort of identity system, probably access control, and uh, there needs to be a network transport API um, that my software understands so that if I give it access to my data that it's able to retrieve it and then of course to also read what's inside because um, even if it's machine readable if the terms and names that are used inside the data or the format or the structure is different then my software might still not be able to read it. So that's the big goal, and we want to create that. Um, we want to make the next cloud user data usable in Solid, and make Solid user data usable in next cloud. So Solid is a web of identity storage and apps. So uh, it it pulls those apart from uh, monolith systems uh, like. Uh, Google, for instance, have that all included. It's all Google Identity, Google Stores, Google Applications. And in Solid, identity might be on one domain name, uh, storage is on another, and the application is on a third domain name. As long as it's hyperlinked together, it can be on any domain name you want. So for Nextcloud, we want to implement identity and storage so that you can use uh, Solid apps with your Nextcloud server. And we got identity working. Yay, last week we finally um, we're able to use a Nextcloud account to log in to a Solid app. So um, no storage yet, so you can't store anything on your Nextcloud yet. Um, but if somebody else has stored something and they give you access to it, to your to our Nextcloud identifier, then you'll be able to access it, to log in to their uh, storage with your Nextcloud identity. So storage is obviously our next milestone. We hope to have that soon. Um, and then we want to add a app launcher to Nextcloud, a solid app launcher. Of course, you have the Nextcloud apps that you can install, but um, we're also inside the solid app, there'll be a smaller uh, launch pad from which you can launch solid apps that access your data. And then the most exciting part, and also more challenging maybe, comes when we want to try to do deep data integration. So the context and profile and calendar data that you already have in Nextcloud will populate your SolidPod when you first use it. So normally when you sign up for a SolidPod somewhere, it starts out empty. If you install the Solid app on Nextcloud, you will have data in there from the start. And also when you add, for instance, a calendar event, 
to your solid data, it will also appear on your Nextcloud calendar. At least that's our goal. Um, of course, we also, because we're writing this all, this PHP code, it's of course open source as a module, as a standalone server, so you can run it outside Nextcloud. Uh, but the main goal here is to make sure that uh, hopefully early next year, Solid will come to Nextcloud. Thank you.